A blood culture is very important as a confirmatory test for uh, sepsis and uh, we need a good sample of 0.5 to 1 ml. Take with the full aseptic precautions. Um, the blood bank or the microbiology lab should make sure that the, uh, the agent they use is appropriate for the newborns with this lower sample volume. Sterile gloves should be used and uh, skin cleaning with chlorhexidin of suitable strength to the gestation of the baby should be used to avoid contamination because the contamination, a growth of a bug which is not really the cause of infection can confound your treatment plans. Most labs report a positive culture by 36 hours and if the baby is clinically stable with the normal inflammatory markers and the culture is negative, we could stop antibiotics by this stage. A positive culture would determine the duration of treatment and it would depend on the nature of the organisms and the lumbar puncture findings as well. Once we get the sensitivity report, you need to rationalize your antibiotic treatment. It is not always necessary to repeat a blood culture once you have a positive growth if the inflammatory markers are reducing well. But if the inflammatory markers are not reducing or if the baby is not clinically responding well, it's a good idea to repeat a blood culture after a few days, especially in gram-negative sepsis so that you know for sure that your antibiotics are eliminating the bug and then you can plan to stop the antibiotics a certain period after you have a negative culture. So if you plan a 14-day treatment for a gram-negative sepsis, you can say at least one week after the negative culture.